Ready? Go! Let's see. Can I show it? Yeah. Uh, we are going for a tree blade auto prop from Brenton's. We are Bart, Kim, and Liz. We fell in love with sailing and each other on a sailing school. We bought Tranquility, a 33 foot sailboat to explore the world, but then we got our lovely daughter, Liz. And after two years of sailing with her around the Netherlands, we feel confident enough to live our dream with the three of us. In this episode, we're going to show you uh, some swimming lessons from Liz, uh, a hydro vane, and we will fiddle around with a prop and we've got a farewell present. Get a drama as a toy for Christmas. Here you can see our hydrovane at work. It's the dancing red flag in the back of the boat. It is our secondary uh, steering system, which allows us to steer the boat without the use of any electricity. All right, so uh, hydrovane comes with uh, just a loose big ass rudder. Uh, the advantage of it is it has a big ass rudder. So it's also an emergency rudder if you happen to lose your own rudder. Then we've got our uh, hydrovane itself. Hydrovane supplies this uh, with uh, uh, two additions I guess. This one they call the stubby vane. It's uh, shorter but it's wider and they also had a vane that's smaller but it extends a lot more so it's more uh, longer but it wouldn't fit underneath our arch. On top of your mast the wind will blow until your vane and if it's standing correctly, nothing happens. You will just go forward. But in sailing, you don't go forward in a straight line. So your boat will always move a bit on waves or anything. But the beauty of the hydrovane and the wind vane is it steers your boat all the way mechanically. So if you got out of course and the wind will come more forward of the boat, the vane will be blown away by the wind. And while it's been blown away, it gives a mechanical, um, it mechanically goes downstairs to the rudder and your boat will steer the other way. So what it means is the vane will always be like this, turning your boat. And here 
you can see the rudder is moving while the vane is going in the other direction. So installation of the hydro vane can be done by yourself. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's only one thing and that's very frustrating. That's making this upper wooden block to transfer the load onto your hull. Uh, because it needs to be conform the shape of the back of your boat. But also it needs to conform the shape for this arm to go over here. That is just a pain in the ass. That's very difficult to get that done. So that will consume probably a day of your time. And the other day you need to use to install the vane itself. That's quite straightforward. So uh, this is our first sail with the uh, hydro vane in uh, a bit more windy condition. Uh, we tested it with uh, uh, four knots of wind and today we've got some uh, 14 knots of wind, sometimes 17. Uh, we're on the North Sea and this is what it looks like. of uh, beam reach and it's doing a job very well it's keeping our boat on course on track uh, no weird maneuvers uh, we've got our sail set up double reef in the main and we got our uh, Genoa fully out we don't have a very big Genoa Alright, so that's it. If you have any questions about the hydrovane, uh, just drop a comment down below and uh, we'll be happy to answer it. Uh, yeah, we want Liz to feel comfortable in the water and to be cap able to uh, float and swim to shore when she falls aboard. Of course, she's wearing a life jacket. Uh, but it's just uh, an extra safety and uh, we live on the water so we want her to have uh, pleasure as well and she enjoys it ready go so it turns out you can uh, let babies float and even hold their breath and let them turn around when they face forwards in the water. Uh, we uh, found this um, course by Lyndon van Ettinger who is doing it under the brand name Children of the Water. You can find that I think anywhere in the world. And um, well after uh, a couple of weeks uh, Liz was uh, able to turn around and float and breathe normally and when she was uh, a little bit older uh, at the age of uh, two years old we gave her swimming lessons uh, where she can actually swim floats and swim is that a grote boat a hele grote boat <laughs> what do you now here? Kijk. Oh. show you which prop we have right now so let's dive under the boat and here you can see our two blade Volvo Penta uh, well just standard fixed prop um, it's uh, something we're gonna change but first we're gonna sail uh, and do some test runs with this one and then we'll show you uh, the other prop See the so why change our prop? Uh, well we wanted to have a prop that could save us fuel and uh, increase our speed while sailing. Um, 
Here are some test results. At 2000 RPM, we are going with a speed of 4.7 knots. We're on the sail now. We have approximately 8 to 10 knots of wind. Uh, our fixed two blade prop um, is not in gear now. And we are sailing around 16 de 60 degrees. So it's time to get out of the water to change our prop. So there's another reason why we wanted to change the prop because to reduce speed loss because of the drag of the prop, we let it spin around under sail, but the spinning makes a terrible sound like this. Auto prop. Bam. Right, and lastly the anode the prop. because there's a boat over there so I don't want to hit it. Oh, that was a nice kick. And now we're gonna stop the boat, pull back, let's see if everything works. And take a look at the background. As you can see there's almost no prop hole. Well you just gotta believe us because <laughs> there's no reference point. But <laughs> it stops and goes quite easily. So the auto prop is under our boat now. Uh, we also made a video with a full test and review of the auto prop and uh, an explanation on how it works and why it is so efficient. So if you don't like that, click in the link down below. Uh, for now, we just do some tests at 2000 RPM. We are going six knots. I don't know if you remember, but we did 4.7 with the old one. So 6.7 uh, with 2500 uh, rpm and with 3000 rpm with the two blade prop we were doing like six and a half all right so we'll hoist the sails and stop the engine and see how it performs under sail i think the auto prop is choosing the less resistance of the water so it's just being standing still and we can't hear anything spinning in here no more noise now we're sailing on an angle of 60 degrees again uh, with seven and a half knots of wind and that means we're going 3.7 knots of speed well, I don't know if you remember, but in the beginning we had 9 knots of breeze and going 3.9 knots. So I'll say this is a very good result. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all. In the next episode on SV Tranquility, it's time to leave our beloved Amsterdam.